Hello there and welcome to PS4 Fun and what I'm talking about today really is why I have chosen to trade in Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain uh, before I have even finished it. Um, first of all I want to qualify that this is not a review, this is simply my personal opinion about why I haven't engaged with the game. I know there are well probably the vast majority of people out there who have found this a spectacular addition to the series and have enjoyed playing it hugely. But there are some very specific reasons why I've got a bit bored with it uh, and I'm going to hang it up and trade it in for something else. Maybe Fallout 4, don't know. Um, so I did enjoy my time with it. I put about 45 hours into Metal Gear Solid 5 um, and it's mechanically incredibly sound. Now, it works beautifully. It's very easy to play. Um, the movements are smooth. The whole sneaky mechanic is brilliantly implemented. Um, so it is a triumph in terms of gameplay. The gameplay is solid and fantastic. And it is lots of fun. I have had a huge amount of fun playing it. I have attached balloons to bears. I have got a dog companion who I can command to kill people. I've had brilliant fun in doing all the little busy works around it. Um, and let's face it, it is without a doubt one of the most gorgeous games to look at out there at the minute. It is just a triumph of beauty, graphics, smoothness, because I think it runs 60 frames, 1080p, uh, and that is obvious. It's great fun. You can see here I'm about to snipe someone from miles away with a pistol, uh, and then I'm going to run in and attach balloons to them. It's fantastic in that respect. The problems for me is that I got bored with it, and let me qualify why. Firstly, most importantly for me, and I've got a blog on Open World Games, um, and I'm going to put a link to the blog if you would like to read it uh, in the comments below. Um, it's about the story. I like story-driven games. I have played other Metal Gear games, and they are very narratively driven. There is a lot of exposition, a lot of chats, a lot of talk, um, and a lot of story. Yeah, mainly totally bonkers, but it is a linear, narratively driven game. All of them have been up until this point. This story is thin. It's really thin. There is nothing in it that drives me forward. It doesn't compel me to carry on playing. Um, mainly because Snake in this is totally boring. He's a totally boring character. Um, they've got Keeper Sutherland in to do the voice. And I reckon they had to. he was charging them per word. Because they seem to have saved a huge amount of money to the point where Snake is almost a mute character, like the ones we're used to having in, say, Skyrim, or the original Fallout games, or any RPG out there where you play this mute character who observes what's going on around him rather than being a part of it. The only character who says less than Snake is Quiet, and that's because she doesn't say anything. He is so stoic um, that it's boring. There's no character, there's no development, he is an utterly unengaging character and I have no interest in finding out what's happening to him. And it's a, it's a massive misstep in what has been a very character-driven story in the past. Um, so I haven't had any feeling or, or uh, need to do the story missions because the story missions aren't really engaging with me in the slightest because Snake has been turned into a mute, dull character. Um, and also, it was, um, it's an open world game. And yes, uh, you can go pretty much anywhere from the start of the game. You can do that. But it's not truly an open world in the same way that, say, The Witcher is or The Fallout is. Um, because both of the areas that you can interact with are relatively small in terms of, say, a game such as The Witcher or even some parts of Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, and what they do all the time is reuse the same locations. Now in The Witcher, which is a game I adore and a massive open world, every time you do something you are being led to a different part of the game world. You're discovering new areas, discovering new sites, um, and that is wonderful. Whereas as you play through the side missions in Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain, unfortunately what you get is going back to the same locations again and again and again. This location you're seeing in the footage right now, I have been to a number of times. This was the first time I visited on a mission, um, but since then I've been back three or four times. Um, there are other areas that you just go back to again and again and again. It becomes repetitive and a little dull, because you can then just approach those areas in the same way each time. If it's worked for you once, it's going to work again. You may as well carry on doing it like that. It doesn't interest me, because I'm not having to mix the mechanics up. Um, and the other thing is quite sparsely populated. 
as you wander around some of the game worlds out there at the minute, say, and I am going to say The Witcher 3 again, which is probably one of the best open world games I've ever played, and there's always something happening, there's always something to do, whereas you spend an awful lot of time schlipping between areas, walking. You know, unless you've got D-Horse with you, in which case you can go a little bit faster, there are no fast travel points, for instance. So if you want to get from one side of the map to the other, you have to call in the helicopter, get on the helicopter, go through all the animations of, with the helicopter, open up the map, select where you want to go in the helicopter, the animations of the helicopter taking you there and then dropping you off. It's not fun. And it's not interesting. And just sprinting through empty locations to get from one base to another is not engaging or interesting. I mean, I got... I got really bored. I thought, oh, flipping X sake, I really don't want to have to do this anymore. Um, so it's too sparse. So the open worlds, such as they are, are not open enough and they are not interesting enough for me. Other people may disagree with me and you're entitled to. I'm not saying that this is what everyone thinks. This is simply what I think. Um, so the open worlds were not interesting enough. They weren't diverse enough. Yes, they looked beautiful. Um, and there was plenty going on in terms of you know, the variety of the different bases, but there just wasn't enough stuff to do. And as a result, you were being recycled into the same locations over and over and over again. Um, and ultimately, ultimately for me, it was about the busy work. The side missions um, were fun, but they were repetitive. You know, they were clear the mines. There was five clear the mines ones. You know, you went through the whole thing to unlock the um, the expert gunsmith, so you could uh, you could do the brilliant, I must say, weapons customization. You know, that's a whole game in itself. Um, but the busy work ultimately doesn't doesn't feel it leads anywhere. I was upgrading mother base as much as I could, but really because the servers weren't working and because I didn't get to I think the twenty second mission when it unlocks the PvP element of mother base. Really, it was quite an empty experience. Um, it was nice to visit, but again, it was a bit too big. I didn't like the fact that I had to jump on a jeep and travel for five minutes to get from one place to another or call in a chopper to do it. It just was too much of nothing going all the time. Um, I say the uninvolving lead character. I didn't care about Snake, so I didn't want to, to stay around him too often because he just wasn't interesting. You look at other characters who have an internal uh, dialogue going on. You look at the lovely Uncharted games where the, there's always chatter going on. Even with Dragon Age Inquisition, lovely little interactions between the party. And every time you put a different party together, you've got different interactions. You know, Sarah and, um, was it Dorian, uh, had a lovely little um, banter going on between them. And it was fun to do, but it isn't with Snake because he's stoic. and doesn't say anything. He doesn't talk to anybody. There's no monologue. There's no sense of place. I mean, the lovely bits, even when Nathan Drake is on his own, he's always interactive. He's always charming. He's always engaging. Snake, dull as ditch water, unfortunately. Um, and I just felt that after 40 odd hours of gameplay, where I had all the companions, I had the horse, the dog, quiet, uh, and also the little mechanized things, which I never used because I didn't really like them. Um, and I had upgraded a number of those to get better abilities. Um, why there is one that makes a horse poop on people, not entirely sure. Don't get that at all. Hideo Kojima, seriously, mate, you need to get out more sometimes. Um, I did all of that. I did weapons customization. And I felt really that I had run out of stuff to do. You know, I had enjoyed it. But what I was getting was repeatedly variations on a theme rather than innovation and choice and interest. Um, I wasn't discovering new locations. Um, I wasn't being involved in a story that was compelling, you know, like The Witcher, for instance, which has got a great story, but all of the side missions have great stories. There is fun in doing them. The different hunts, the different NPCs that you meet along the way. It wasn't just, here's a base, raid it, nick some stuff. It was a little story about how people, you know, that one was about a, a ghost that hired you. You know, all the way through, you were thinking this lady hired you to find her husband's remains, but in fact, she was a ghost and she wanted to be laid to rest. I mean, there was interest in that, whereas unfortunately with Metal Gear, all the side missions are, are go here, do this, go back to Mother Base. There's no story, there's no interest, yet yeah, it unlocks a few things for you, but really, where is the actual sense that you're moving forward in the game and you are learning more about the environment and the world that you're occupying. You were not. It was dull. So this is why about 40 hours in I have now totally uninstalled Metal Gear Solid 5 from my 
PlayStation 4 after 40 hours of, well, I'd say probably 35 hours of fun and then five hours of realizing that I was beginning to get a little bit bored with it. Um, I've uninstalled it completely from my PlayStation 4. It is sitting on a shelf ready for me to trade it in for Fallout 4, which I'm hoping will be a far more involved um, open world. And certainly now with a voiced character, we got some more interaction, so you'll feel more like a participant rather than a spectator. So I'm quite hyped for that. I might even try and get Disgaea um, Alliance of Vengeance, which again is a massive game with hundreds of hours of gameplay in it. But I remember from previous incarnations of these games, if there is busy work, if there is grinding to be done, it always had some kind of purpose, some kind of benefit, some kind of engagement. And let's face it, the characters in those games are entirely insane, so they're fun to be around. So I think Metal Gear Solid, if there are further Metal Gear Solid games, this format doesn't work for this franchise. For me, I am used to having tightly scripted, interesting characters. Totally bonkers, but all the time the game is funneling me into these fabulous set pieces, these weird and wacky um, conversations that go on. Now, I miss, you know, putting naughty magazines down for people and shooting little frogs out of trees. You know, those side and busy bits were great, but they never, ever detracted from the story itself. And unfortunately, everything that Metal Gear Solid V does is taking you away from what made Metal Gear fantastic in the first place, which was an interesting character or interesting characters, a very engaging story, although slightly insane always um, and uh, an environment that you wanted to discover more about whereas I found with this I simply don't care about it anymore so it's uninstalled it's on the shelf um, and as far as I'm concerned uh, I would never pick it up again to play it it doesn't hold any more interest for me like I said that is my opinion if you want to read the blog like I said earlier I'm um, I wrote about you know about open world games. I'll put a link to it in the comments, so please feel free to have a little read of that if you want to see some more of my thoughts about whether open worlds are actually a good idea, because they seem to be a fad these days rather than something that's actually driving the uh, the genre forward. Um, anyway, that's why I'm trading in Metal Gear Solid 5. Thank you very much for listening. Um, if you have any comments about it, please leave them. You know, I'm not doing this to say it's a bad game. It isn't. It's a superb game. It's just not a game that I I was interested in playing more than I, I did, and I know some people are totally obsessive about it, and that is fine because I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just not saying I'm saying it's not a game for me. So hopefully you've enjoyed what I've said. If you disagree, please comment in the comments or um, hit the blog and comment on the blogs as well, or tweet me or whatever. I really don't mind. All of those things are fine. I'm encouraging conversation on this because I'm interested to see whether there's anybody else has got the same opinion as me, or whether I am simply alone in the world. Um, and I'm the only one who didn't get what, what I needed from this experience. So thanks very much. As always, happy gaming, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.